Hello, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Um, here's another of my short tutorials on different products and how to use them. So as I've said in some of the others, um, this is not showing you how to make a card. It's showing you products that you can use to help create your card or your crafty project. So this one today we're going to be using, it's a Cosmic Shimmer Masking Fluid. So I'll show you how to use it, but this is a, some of, like an example that I guess that you could do with it. There are many ways you could use it, but I'm just going to show you one quick way. So to start off with, you have your cardstock with your masking fluid, just paint it on wherever you want white to show through. Or if you've done another background, you can have it so that that background shows through. But in this case, we're going to have white. So I'm just going to do some like little leafy type things. You can have a little flower on top of it. And then we might have some stars in the sky. And then once you've finished all that, leave it to dry. It must be dry before you proceed. So I'm going to pop that one aside to dry. And I'm going to clean off my brush. Normally I would have some water with me, but I haven't got it. So I'm just using a wet one. Don't leave it in your brush or it'll just dry and go all clumpy. So get it out straight away. So here's one that I did a little bit earlier. Now, when I did this one, I had in mind the sky. So maybe a sunset and these are all stars and shooting stars and that sort of thing. So using Distress Oxides, we're going to create a sky background. So I'm going to start with Seedless Preserves and I'm going to blend some of that. I'll get the excess off. I don't want it too dark. And we'll just blend that colour over the card. Like so. And then we'll come in with the next colour, which is Picked Raspberry. As I say, guys, these are just samples. Just something to work with. Actually, no, I don't think I'll use that. It's a bit too close to the other colour. I'll go for Carved Pumpkin instead. So I'll get some Carved Pumpkin on there. And blend that over the card. So if you're blending inks like I am, make sure you get the colours to blend together nicely so that they flow into one another. So we'll just come back with the seedless preserves where those two have joined. And then down the bottom, we'll use squeezed lemonade. Okay, so now we'll just pop that down the bottom. Again, this is just a sample, guys. It's just to give you some ideas and inspiration to use these products and maybe try something out of your comfort zone. Okay, so there we go. Now from there, if you say wanted to do stamps and that sort of things, you can do that now. Now that this is dry, we're then going to remove the mask. So it just peels off touching it like so and just keep going until you've got all the bits and pieces off there we go now what I could do here if I wanted to is I've got some glitter glue so I might even do that later <coughs> excuse me I'm going to go over those little bits with glitter glue so they're all sparkly and it looks like shooting stars. <laughs> so 
So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, do give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to join us in my Facebook group called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond, or the other one is Barossa Valley Crafts, and you can share your crafty creations with us. We're not limited to brands, so you can use whatever you like. And uh, yeah, just come and have a bit of fun and see how you go. Um, to buy, I guess, this, you need to find your nearest stocker. So if you just Google or something, I think this one I got from Tassie. So I'll add the link in the description for this. And yeah, have fun. Thank you for joining me. Bye.